right, all right, it's Tuesday morning. Getting these 5 a.m. pallets. Well, my appointment was for 5 a.m. I got here at 4.45, checked in. And uh, they sent me a message about 6, saying to pull right here, and they're gonna start loading me, and it is 6.20 now. So we're almost done. But I got lucky, because a few minutes after I pulled in, this guy pulled in, he's got a five o'clock appointment as well. So if I'd have been a little bit late, he'd have been before me, and I'd be sitting there. So he came and knocked these out real quick. But now he's, I see him in there. He's uh, getting, I guess, other stacks ready. So I guess it'll be a few more minutes and then he'll come out here and, and do the rest. But it's a little windy and my straps are getting a little uh, thrown back and forth. I already had to throw one over twice. But you see, they're kind of not centered. That's all right, though. We're only going 30 minutes down the road. Oh, wait. I hope they unload us quick. I've never been to this spot. I don't know if I'm having any issues because the address is uh, like 705 East Wildlife. Or no, it's a wild 705 Wildlife. But the only GPS will pull up is a 705 East Wildlife. It doesn't have the same company name on Google, so I don't know. We're gonna show up and figure it out when we get there. All right, so this was the right spot. His right address took me right to it so they didn't really understand what a flatbed was i told them i'm a flatbed because like oh she called it on the radio i was like go to door 20. it's like like back into the door i don't mind it don't bother me one bit but i never get uh i never get unloaded like that because people are afraid to fall off the side with the forklift but we're gonna go down there and see let's go uh, check it out all right, so they are unloading in the dock. Barely squeezes in there. So yeah, they got on me right away. Shouldn't be too much longer. I got three more stacks and we're gonna head out of here. We're gonna go to uh, Roanoke, pick up some mulch. At, it's about 30, 33 minutes away. But it might be a little bit longer with traffic. So we're going to take that uh, to Sherman. So this one pays $350, these pallets. And the mulch load should pay $400. We are unloaded. Got the paperwork. Oh, wait. I'm going to check the back of my trailer. I just pulled off the dock and came over here to get my paperwork. You know, last time I bumped the dock, that's what happened but I noticed it looked like this was kind of on the uh, bumper if I did that crack or that's probably an old crack it's from the original original accident but I was just checking it so uh, we're gonna punch it in the GPS and uh, head to road note get that uh, that most that's where that speedy Gonzalez is I'll be there for probably about 15 minutes getting paperwork loaded and strapping up. Yeah, just like I thought, about 15 minutes, strapped up, loaded, got my paperwork ready to roll. Got 16 pallets going to Lowe's and Sherman. I still haven't found a load coming out of there, so I'm gonna keep looking. If not, I got one more to come pick up over here, deliver tomorrow morning. So we'll see, I'll let you guys know.
right, so we got checked in. It's 11.30. I went around back, and it is packed back there. Oh, man, you can tell they're getting ready for spring. They got all the riding lawnmowers, normal lawnmowers, shingles, uh, fertilizers. I mean, everything just piled on top of each other back there. I can barely squeeze through. I had to come all the way around and come to the front side. So I said park over here, unstrap, and they'll come get me. They're uh, messing with one truck first. They're going to come get me, so we'll see how long it takes. All right, so we got unloaded at 2 o'clock. That's how long it took them. But we came back. It is 4 o'clock now. We're loaded, strapped up, got the paperwork ready to roll. I got about an hour drive, maybe a little longer with traffic. So let's see if we can't beat some of that traffic since it's only 4. We'll see. Guys, we are back at the shop and it's still daylight. Oh wait, I'm excited. I love the daylight. Well, today kind of sucked a little bit, I think. Got held up at uh, at that Lowe's for quite a while. So yeah, so I just preloaded this one. It is about 5:30 right now, so I get to go home and uh, enjoy the kids for just a little bit. Yeah. All I have is uh, deliver this in the morning and then see what pops up. I think they're going to be there at five. They were there at five last time whenever they start getting all this mulch. So I'm, uh, I'm hoping that Lowe's will be there at five. It's supposed to start at seven. So I'm going to just show up at five and see what happens. So if you don't mind, hang with me. Like, comment, subscribe, please. Thank you guys who have already done that. Appreciate it. It means a lot to me. All right. We'll see you guys tomorrow.